this is the best AI tool for turning your videos into anime, Pixar, GTA, or even something a little bit more creative. If you ever dreamed of being a Greek god, I'm going to break down exactly how to use Domo, how to get the best out of it, and we're going to run through some of the other interesting features that it has available. So strap yourselves in, ladies and gentlemen, and let's dive in to getting the most out of video to video. So Domo has a whole host of different features, and we're going to dive into video to video first. Let's take a look at some of the styles available in Domo. So you can turn yourself into a Japanese anime, and this gives you these beautiful flat colors and a real sense of a Hayao Miyazaki film. It works particularly well if you have some parts of the video that are moving and some parts that are static. So keep that in mind when you're converting your videos into anime. Now, Domo is particularly easy to use and it has a number of pre-built styles that it has refined to a point that they work exceptionally well. So these include the paper art style, which is almost like a moving animated origami. And it gives this beautiful paper texture to a work. And they have everything from 3D cartoon style, almost like a Pixar style, to a pixelated game style, which is great for mimicking retro pixel games. There is also a Van Gogh style, which is a, a painted swirling type. Now it has various anime styles. You can have a flatter style or a more modern style with greater detail or a more classic style of anime, which is flatter and has a more drawn as aesthetic. There is also a comic style for this graphic novel approach. And what's really interesting is you can actually write your own prompts and use them inside of Domo. And this is good if you want a different style. So you can see here, you can put in a robot dancing. This one is working very well. And also the classic Greek statue dancing. You can change your gender and also your location. So to use Domo, you have to create an account and come into their Discord channel. Now, there are a number of chat rooms and you have to go into one of these to create your videos you'll be in a chat room with lots of other people working as well. So I recommend actually choosing not the first one, but one of the higher numbered rooms. This is because there are less people in there. Everyone goes to the very first one. So I'm in eight and all you have to do is start typing in a command and the video to video command is forward slash video. So pop that in. Next up, all you have to do is upload your video. And to do that, you simply click on the box, find a video that you want to upload and go ahead and add a prompt. Now, if you're using the existing styles, the prompt that you enter will have little effect, but if you're looking to use your own prompt, it will have a huge impact. So keep that in mind, because if you're looking to use one of these main styles that they have, you can just simply enter like man and woman. Then you can go ahead and press enter. This will send the message to the Discord bot and now you will get to select what style you would like this to come out with so you can click on the drop down and it will have all these styles that we've just run through as well as a few more so there is now also a grand theft auto style that you can use let's try that one out now here you have the option to refer to the source video more or refer to your prompt more and this is basically only important if you are using the fusion style, which is the first option here, which is fusion style V1, any style by prompt. Now you have to select exactly how long you would like your video to be. It will start off using the first part of the video and enlarge that as you increase the time. So the options are three seconds, five seconds or 10 seconds. Now there is also a 20 second option, but this is for the highest tier membership. So we can go ahead and press start once you have selected your parameters. Now this usually takes two to five minutes depending on how busy the servers are. It's very interesting that you can also export a video of an image and you can actually change images inside of this as well. So I did this with my own little face to create the thumbnail of this video. And you can see here, it made me like a hideous gargoyle. Also into a more seemly Pixar character. Always remember to follow your heart. Now you may have seen these effects applied onto TikTok dancing videos. And for you, I have gone ahead and done my best TikTok dancing impression. And you can see this was the original video and I put this in 
and turn myself first into a Greek goddess with very muscular thighs. This was using the fusion prompt, allowing you to use any prompt that you like. I then turned myself into a male Greek god with the most bulbous muscles you could ever imagine before turning myself into a Disney style character. And you can see here that it's working pretty well, though sometimes the limbs get confused with the torso. It also believes that I am quite androgynous. So some key tips for working with Domo AI is to make sure that you have very clear subjects in the shot that they are easily differentiated from the background. Now, you might notice that the lips do not always match up perfectly using Domo. And there is an easy fix for this. You can use a tool called Pika. Pika Labs allows you to generate the lip syncing motions to your video. And it's very easy to use. So all we have to do is come into Pika, come down to image or video, from here, you're going to find your clip. So I will use this clip, which I used at the start of this video. And next up, you're going to click on lip sync, which is the third option along. From here, we're going to select upload your audio and you're going to upload exactly the same file if you're using a video that contains audio already. And it will automatically match the audio to your video. So you can go ahead and click on attach and continue. Now, the last thing you have to do is click on generate and you can simply sit back, relax and wait for AI to carry out its lip syncing duties. Now, this will take a couple of minutes to process. For Pika, you get 250 credits for free to use this tool and lip syncing requires two credits each. So you can get 125 lip syncing videos for free. And here we have it. We have the realistic version of me with my lips synced to the audio saying it's pretty impressive. And this is a great way to generate videos with actual lip movements. Now, the other thing you can do with this tool is you can actually generate audio within Pika. You can input the text that you would like to add and select what voice you would like to use. It has a number of AI generated voices that are fairly effective. I would still say they're not quite on par with the real dulcet tones of a human, but they do pretty well. So that's the other option that you have. This is the best AI tool for turning your videos into... Now, you can have some fun with this tool and you can also reimagine films in different genres. For example, I took this classic scene from Titanic and reimagined it as a Pixar animation. There are all these live action remakes of Disney Pixar films recently, but I thought it would be interesting to go the other way and make a Disney Pixar version of some of the best films ever. What would you like to see as a Disney Pixar recreation? I would quite enjoy Gladiator. I also saw that Gladiator 2 is coming out this year. Looking forward to that. So the key thing when using Domo is to remember which of the chat rooms you're in and also to make sure that the video that you send is appropriate for the tool. So the key skill here is understanding what's going to work well to be turned into an AI video. So let's take a look at this scene from Hercules that I've changed into a different genre. So as you can see here, I've turned it into a more illustrated version. I also had a go at turning Hercules into a more 3D animated style. So this was the shot, and you can see it animated here. Now, this technique gives us a lot of possibilities. There is one of my favorite films ever called Waking Life, and that uh, is this stylistic film. And what they did to achieve this effect was they actually filmed the entire film with cameras and then painted over every single frame. This was the original footage. And you can see here how it came out once they illustrated and painted over the top. If you haven't seen this film, I highly recommend it. It's a incredibly thought-provoking spiritual journey into the nature of consciousness. So you can also create images like this, which I've been using for the thumbnail of this video. And to do that, all you have to do is export an image in a video. You can then upload it and change the style as you like. So it can easily be used as a avatar generator as well. 
Now, what's interesting about Domo is it has a number of other features that you can also use. One is the ability to animate images. So you can simply come into a chat room, type in forward slash animate and upload your own image. Now, I've been working with some AI influencers recently. Uh, make sure to check that video out if you're interested in how to create your own consistent animated AI influencers. And I will show you how this tool matches up for animating images. So all you have to do is type in forward slash animate, then you'll have a box where you can add in your image and you simply send that into the chat. Next up, you'll have the opportunity to select a couple of different settings. The first is the intensity, and this is essentially the amount of animation that you'll have inside of the video. One, two or three. So I found that one or two works best, especially for photorealistic situations where you want to really keep the beauty and realism of your subject. Now you can also choose either three seconds or five seconds. I'll keep it to three so we get a quick review of how this works. Go ahead and press start. Make sure to press start or it won't actually begin. <laughs> Very important. I, When I first came on here, I, I selected my options and didn't even press start. Boo! Idioso! But here's one I made earlier. So let's take a look at a couple of examples. So here is the animated version of this lady. And you can see it adds some camera motion. It also ripples out the water. And there is slight moving of her body. What's quite interesting is that it has added in quite a lot of contrast to the image. So it's actually applied uh, stylistic interpretation to the image. And here is another one. You can see that it's animated the water very effectively and it's added in this camera rotation effect. Now for something a little bit different, here is an animation of some jellyfish and you can see that it's decided to rotate them and it allows them to look like they are swimming a little bit. And so I put in a picture of my own face and it started to move my mouth. But it's quite interesting that, yeah, if we take a look at the image that I put in, which was this, yeah, I think the interesting thing is actually how much it has added in uh, contrast and it has changed the way that the image is viewed. So it's added in quite a lot of clarity, I would say. It's like it really heightened the highlights and darkened the lowlights. It's increased the contrast and I believe that it's doing this so that the AI can better understand what is in the image, that if it's clearer, the segmentation of different elements within the image, sort of where does my hair end, where does the background start, uh, where is the white of the eyes, making that really clear, then it comes out with more clear results. So this is the simple animation from the start, and then you see immediately as it starts to generate, it changes the contrast. So this was the first frame, the second frames are already really heightening the depth and darkness of the hair and increasing the saturation. And it's uh, it's done pretty well actually maintaining the proportions of my face. It's only as it starts to go towards the end, you can start to see a little bit of morphing around the chin and the lips. But if we compare this to some of the results from another AI art video generator. So this is a tool called Pixverse. And you can see here that it does better at maintaining the style of the image and it particularly animates the hair well, but you would say that there's quite limited animation that's actually applied in the Pixverse version. <laughs> so here's one that's made her arms disappear. Interesting magic trick. <laughs> Let's try that again. So this is an example of where the more animation that you add, the more likely it is for the video to do something completely unexpected. Now let's take a look at this example, comparing Domo with Pixverse and Leonardo. Now there is a holy grail of AI video animation that is emerging, and that is the ability to animate Will Smith eating spaghetti. And for that, I've tasked Domo, firstly with generating an image, which is also able to do, and to use the generation feature of Domo, you have to switch the chat room. So on the left, you can notice there are four generate chat rooms. So you pop into one of these and type in forward slash gen. And this gives you a text to image feature. 
And there you can simply type in Will Smith Eden Spaghetti. And it's come out with a fairly reasonable interpretation of Will Smith eating spaghetti, though some of the coherence in the image is lacking. That the spaghetti is being draped over his clothing, and somehow it's going into his beard rather than his mouth. I also don't know if that's a fork properly. Now we can take a look at uh, this video of Will Smith eating spaghetti from last year, and also take a look at this video coming out of the industry best AI video generator right now, which is Sora. However, this is not available for public release just yet. And here is Will Smith eating spaghetti, and you can see that it has failed uh, quite spectacularly in creating something that is recognizable as Will Smith eating spaghetti. Now, another feature that's available in Domo is the real feature, and this can turn your animated anime or 3D Pixar style images into real life photos. And to do that, all you have to do is type in forward slash real and upload an image. So I had some fun earlier turning Hercules into a real life film. And you can see here on the left was the image that I uploaded and on the right is the realistic photo that came out. I think it works pretty well, apart from his nipples are extremely prominent. And there's something about him not quite looking actually into her eye, but looking sort of slightly through her, which belies the realism of this. But apart from that, it works pretty well and it's quite a lot of fun. So the plans for Domo start off at $9.99 a month, and this gives you 500 credits, which works out at about 30 videos. Now, what's really interesting though, is if you upgrade to the $20 a month plan, you get unlimited video generation on their relaxed mode. So you get 1200 credits for their fast generation. But the key thing here is you get an unlimited amount of videos for $20 a month, which is actually extremely reasonable compared to other competing tools. And of course, there is also a pro plan. And the key thing about this is it allows you to create a lot more jobs simultaneously with six working concurrently and 10 in your queue. And it also allows you to create videos up to 20 seconds long. Now, one thing about Domo that is very interesting is that it allows for NSFW content. So you can animate and generate uh, more fun content, if that's what you're looking for. Now, an important note about Domo is that the copyright is owned entirely by you. They say, at Domo, we believe in the creative freedom for our users. You retain full ownership rights to your creations, giving you the liberty to use them in your artistic projects or even for commercial purposes. However, we urge all users to respect NSFW content guidelines and share only with proper permission. So that's a key feature that you completely own the copyright of your works in Domo. Overall, I would say that Domo provides the best video to video effects of any AI generator, especially if you're looking to create certain styles. If you're looking to create a Pixar or anime or other very specific style with your video. And if that's what you're looking for, this is the perfect tool. Next, I believe that the unlimited plan for $20 a month is actually extremely good value that you can create as many videos, images and animations as you want for just $20 a month, which does compare favorably to the more token based offerings from Leonardo or Runway. Now, I would say the drawbacks to this tool are that it is very messy working in Discord in chats with other people. And the other issue is that there are relatively long wait times for your results, as well as a no obvious way to manage all of your works that you create inside of Domo. So I'm hoping that they will introduce those features before long. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please feel free to like and subscribe or watch this video next for more on AI. Thanks for being here. And most of all, I wish you a delightful day.